This video is brought to you by Dashlane. As 2020 comes to a close, I can't help but feel exhausted thinking about every smartphone we've had to review this year. But as much as I want to take a short break, it appears we might not have time for that. In fact, the first smartphone launch event happening in 2021 is expected to come sooner than you think. Samsung is reportedly scheduled to launch its next top of the line smartphone in early January. And from what I've heard, there's plenty to be excited about. Hi, I'm Michael Josh. You're watching Gadget Match. Here's everything you need to know about the Samsung Galaxy S21. In its early days, the Galaxy S line would increase in single digit increments every year. Galaxy S2, S3, S4, all the way to S10. Then last year, it skipped 10 digits and went all the way to S20, bringing it in sync with the year 2020. And I guess that was the plan all along. This year, the next smartphone won't be called the S30. Instead, it will be the S21. So it still matches the year it's announced. Just like last year, there will be three variants, namely the S21, S21 Plus, and S21 Ultra. More on the differences between the three models later. So this is what the Galaxy S21 will look like. Teasers from Samsung have echoed what we've seen in leaked renders. The biggest design feature is what's on the back. While there's no way camera modules are getting smaller in 2021, Samsung's embracing it and keeping everything as an element on the top left side of the phone. It's almost flushed against the rest of the frame, so it doesn't stick out from the phone that much. I personally like it and can't wait to get a feel for it. Like the most recent Note series, the S21 will also sport a matte finish that's less likely to pick up smudges. Okay, let's talk about colors. These next photos are courtesy of Evan Blass of Voice.com. On the S21, there's going to be a Phantom Violet, Phantom Pink, Phantom Gray, and Phantom White model, while the S21 Plus will come in Phantom Violet, Phantom Silver, and Phantom Black. The S21 Ultra will only come in Phantom Silver and Phantom Black. Trim and camera modules differ depending on which phone color you get. It's like an accent color on the violet and pink S21s, which have a copper trim and camera module, while it's matchy-matchy on the pink, silver, and black models. All three phones come in different sizes, 6.2, 6.7, and 6.8 inches respectively, roughly the same size as last year's models. With the bigger frame also comes bigger batteries, from 4,000 all the way to 5,000 on the Ultra. And last but not the least, the S21 and S21 Plus will have three cameras for your usual ultra-wide, wide, and telephoto, while the S21 Ultra will have four cameras, including a second-gen 108 megapixel sensor on its main camera, and two telephoto cameras, one with 3x zoom and one with 10x zoom. I'm pretty sure there will be other differences, but those are the most significant ones for now. With all the online accounts and services that one has to manage, it's impossible to assign a unique password to each one, but you should. And let me tell you, all it takes is for one of these accounts to be compromised, one security breach, and hackers might have access to everything. Panicked already? Don't be. That's where our sponsor Dashlane comes in. Dashlane is a user-friendly password manager that makes it easy to manage not only your passwords, but also your credit card details and other personal info, all while keeping them safe. Dashlane works across devices, whether you're on an Android or an iPhone, PC or Mac. Just install the app on your device and sign in to get started. So for example, you're logging into Facebook on your Windows laptop. As soon as the window loads, the form is already filled. It also saved me a lot of time while online shopping this holiday season, as Dashlane will automatically fill in these fields for you. Dashlane stores all your passwords and remembers them so that you don't have to, and uses patented security architecture to ensure that your data stays protected. Dashlane also includes dark web monitoring that makes sure your private data isn't being sold online. And in case one of your accounts shows up as part of a security breach, it will alert you, letting you know that your account has been compromised and prompting you to change your password immediately. 
Last but not least, Dashlane also comes with its own VPN service so that you don't have to pay for a separate one. To get Dashlane for free, head over to dashlane.com slash gadgetmatch. And when you're ready to upgrade to premium, use my code gadgetmatch for 50% off. We'll put all the links in the description box below. Despite the negative sentiment received by Exynos versions of Samsung phones last year, which were outperformed by their Qualcomm counterparts more significantly than ever before, there will continue to be two variants of the S21, depending on where you live. For example, US models will run on Qualcomm's Snapdragon 888 processor, while other regions will get Exynos 2100. The good news is that early benchmarks suggest that the Exynos outperforms the new Snapdragon, but of course, we'll have to wait and see. At the very least, hopefully, they're pretty much even Stevens. Here in the US, Samsung stopped shipping headphones with the Galaxy Note series, and it looks like unboxing videos will have less to talk about next year with Samsung doing an Apple and not including a charger in the box. I'm curious to see if the S21 will support Samsung's 45 watt charger and if charging speeds will improve as a result. It's long been rumored that S Pen support will come to the S line and will no longer be a Note exclusive. And a recent blog post by Samsung president for mobile TM Row added more fuel to the fire, telling us to expect some favorite aspects of the Galaxy Note experience, some of its well-loved features coming to other devices in the lineup. It's believed only the S21 Ultra will have S Pen support. Reports suggest you can either buy the S Pen separately or as a bundle with a case of some kind. As for pricing, notable Germany-based leakster Roland Quant tweeted this, rumored pricing for the S21 is 849 euros, 1049 for the S21 Plus, and 1350 euros for the S21 Ultra. That's roughly the same price as last year, so most likely we're not seeing an increase across the board. And that's everything we know about the Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra. As a caveat, do note that all of this is based on speculation and rumors, but we will find out real soon to make sure you don't miss any of our coverage of the S21 launch. Make sure you're subscribed to this YouTube channel. Hit that bell icon so that you get notified as soon as we upload. Follow me on social media for all the behind the scenes fun stuff. And as always, make gadgetmatch.com your daily habit. Until the next video, I'm Michael Josh. Thanks for dropping by.